Today I'm going to show you how to make an animated GIF using pixel art. So go to Google, type in pixel art, click on the top one that says pixelart.com draw. Click on that and it will load. I'm going to create a new drawing and then I'm going to set my canvas size. It defaults to 100 by 100 pixels which will create a little teeny tiny GIF, very small that you can um, you know you can get some good results with that and to be honest for this particular basics introduction to it 100 by 100 is okay so i'm going to keep it at 100 by 100 click on new drawing i am going to get rid of this thing at the bottom that's asking me to make a logo i don't need that this is pixel art okay first thing i'm going to do is click on this little button up here to make it go full screen so it gets rid of all my tabs across the top and it looks a lot more like um, a downloaded software, if you like. Right, down the side, you've got a pencil tool, a rubber, a brush tool, a line tool, a tool that makes squares and a tool that makes circles, a fill bucket tool and a colour picker tool. There's a few other tools down here, like a text tool, which is quite useful. But for this very basic introduction, I'm just going to be using these ones up here. Now, make as, as simple animation as this the one I'm going to show you now I'm just going to show you what it can do but I want you to be spending a lot more time on yours and thinking about what you actually want your animation to do okay I'm just going to show you the tools so that you can get started as quickly as possible to get your animation going okay so um, I've accidentally drawn a line on there uh, you may have noticed I'm going to click on this little pencil tool down here is our sort of um, little selectors, colour selectors, and I can choose a particular colour on here for my pencil. I can scroll down, there's actually um, a few more colours, if you scroll through there's loads more colours in there, but I'll choose that one for now. Then that's the size of your pencil, at the moment it's set to one pixel, so that is one dot. One dot on this canvas is one pixel, you can make that a little bit bigger. And then that becomes more. I want to change it to a different colour, make it a bit smaller. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go over here now. And I'm going to have a little go at the brush tool. So the brush tool is quite cool because it does look like a little splatter of a brush. You can really get some good effects using this. I um, got some good effects when I was having a little practice and a little play earlier on today with that brush tool. You can make it bigger. Okay, um, then what we've got, we've got circle tool, so you click on the screen, oh I've made that circle tool too big, make it a bit smaller, click and drag and you can make circles, you can make squares, fill bucket does what any normal fill bucket does and that will fill in chunks of your canvas no matter where you click it. Okay, so I'll quick change it to a different colour now and start filling it in. So I'm having a little go at these different tools and really this is what I want you to do. So I've just tapped on the text tool there, you can't really see that text, I'm going to make it black. Okay, I'm having a practice and I'm having a little play, I want you to do that first, okay? But then I want you to spend some time making a really good animation okay right now down the bottom here once you've had a little practice a little play down the bottom um i'm going to do the magic of animation i'm going to copy that frame and you can now see down the bottom here oops is i've now got two copied frames the first one the second one they're identical on this second one i'm going to make some slight changes okay so I might do um, a colour of my pencil tool. So I'm just adding a little bit there. Right, I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to add another frame. Oops. I um, just need to go undo that one now. In fact, I'm going to lock that frames panel because that's annoying me jumping about like that. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to copy frame again, not add frame. Add frame's actually quite... It is an important one to know, if you were going to do another scene and it was going to be completely different to the first scene, then you would add a frame and it would give you, I'll show you, a brand new blank scene that you could start with. 
but I don't want to do that for this particular one. Right, I'm going to add a bit more. I'm going to copy frame, add a bit more. I want you to keep your eye on what's going on down here. I keep copying the frame and I am adding a little bit more. I'm going to copy the frame and these are, they, when played together, this will create the illusion of movement and that's where the magic of animation comes in. And I keep copying, keep copying, right. Imagine I've done that and I've had a really great idea and I'm going to make like a cat walk across the screen, okay? I've not just done some random scribbles. I want you to be doing something really um, good, okay? Imagine I've done that now. I'm now going to preview it, click on play. There we go. There's my little animated GIF doing its magic, okay? Click on the cross. Imagine if you'd made a little cat walk across the screen. It'd be so cool, wouldn't it? It would. And I click on file and I go to download. Now, if I wanted to continue working on this another time, maybe I was doing a really detailed pixel art, I would save as pixel to my device and then I would be able to open that back up again next time. But as it stands, I just want to download it now to show you what to do. So I'm going to click on download. It's going to save it as GIF. In this section, you can decide what size you want it when you download it. Um, it's set to 100 by 100 because that was the, the, the pixel size that we set it as when we, when we started. That's really small. So you could download it a few times at different sizes until you get the size that you want. I'm going to choose um, 1100 by 1100 because that'll be a bit bigger. And then you click on download. Now there's other things that you can do in here, but for this basic tutorial, don't worry about those. Just click on download and it will take a bit of time. Okay, it's downloaded. Here it is down here. And I'll show you what it looks like. Here it is. Ooh. Have fun.